Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a tool that will assist us when we're working with drainage, both in existing and proposed conditions. And it's a tool that works with surfaces, and let me show you how it works. I've got a representative surface on the screen right now, it's an existing ground surface. Um, style and how it's being displayed in this one and five foot contour is irrelevant at this point, but um, if I'm going to come in and start maybe doing an assessment of the drainage on this particular surface, I can select the surface itself and using the contextual ribbon, I can go into water drop and I can start picking points. Now, I guess I could hover over it and we could start to determine or look for uh, elevations, you know, to determine high and low points. I could label contours to figure that out. I could start doing a water drop. It shows me drain, you know, drains into that location. But it might even be easier for me, I'm going to hit escape to cancel a lot of that, if there was a way that I can analyze the surface and have it automatically um, label for me or create annotation to show all the high spots and the low spots for this particular surface. So the way that I would go about doing this is the first thing, I'm going to create a, uh, the surface is actually much larger than what I'm showing on the screen. So I'm going to create a, a rectangle here, I typed in the command rectang. I'm going to pick two points so that when I do my analysis, I'm going to um, control it just for that particular area. We'll open up my command line box a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is under my tool space on the toolbox tab, we're going to come down under miscellaneous utilities and then under surfaces. And there's a command here called surface high and low points. I'm going to go ahead and double pick on that to execute the command, which we can see the command itself is fairly long. So it's probably faster to grab through the interface than it is in typing it in. First thing it's going to ask me for is to select the surface we'd like to work with. I can either pick it off the screen or grab it from a list. We'll go ahead and pick off the screen here. Um, next thing it's going to ask me for is to select a boundary. This is why I made the rectangle first, because it doesn't give us an option. We either pick one or we say none. It doesn't give us an option in the command to have one. So I'm going to select this to limit the area where I perform my analysis. And then I can hit enter to uh, create points or I can go into settings. Let me show you the settings here quickly. If we go into settings, basically it's going to put civil point objects into our file to create these annotations. And those points will have a, a point style associated with it to depict whether it's a high point or it's a low point. Um, so I'm just using a default vanilla drawing, same as what you would have. I can click on the down arrow. These are the, uh, the ones that are in there. Ideally, if I was doing this a lot, I would probably set up a point style specific to high and low points. But to just have two things that are, you know, unique, I'm going to set high point to benchmark and low point to basic. So low points will just be a, uh, a cross and then benchmarks will have, you know, look like a benchmark cross with some, uh, solid, uh, uh portions of it filled in. Uh, we'll also give it a, a point style to determine how it should be displayed. I'm going to set both of them just for elevation only. Once again, if I was doing this a lot, I'd probably have a custom point style set up for that. I'll make these my default if I'm going to use them for that in the future. We'll go ahead and click OK. It performs the analysis, and we see the results displayed for us on the screen. If I hit Escape and zoom up, now you see that where I picked, um, at, I do have a high point there, 697.93. But you also see it found the low point, which is where it drained to with my water droplet. So if we were to take and back up and maybe select the surface and go back in, we'll take and test it here a little bit. A little more uh, drainage, we'll take and pick. We reach that point, it drains down to there. We'll pick over to this point, we see it drains down to the, the spot there. Uh, here rolls down to another low point in this area. All right, so very useful tool. While I can do a lot of analysis and, and determine what's going on with drainage using water drop uh, by putting in surface high and low points, like I said, whether it be an existing or a proposed surface, I can quickly determine all of the high points and low points, and then I can perform my assessment from there. I can use that as a, a tool to further refine some of the tools that I've already got available to me. So I hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. See ya.